wonderful OPU community. Welcome to the first episode of OPU with Edine in the month of May. <sighs> We're already five months gone this year. Wow. How are you? How are you really doing? I hope you're enjoying a beautiful weekend after the long public holidays. May is the month we show up. That's right. All through this May, we talk about the power of presence, the act of showing up, the principles of showing up, etc. and etc. So, if you want to know how to make your presence felt, how to get a seat at the table, how to negotiate the things you want, in short, how to show up for your dreams, your goals, and much more, then stay tuned to Up You With Azine All Through May. We kick off the new series today, and our discussion topic is Woman, Show Up For Your Dreams. Is our hour on radio, and I'm here to keep you company as usual. So let's do this, my beautiful people. Finding self, finding purpose. My name is Ezine Kufre Kanem, and I'm your host. In our main edition, we established that a woman not only has a dream, but also has a right to her dreams. We equally took a look at some of the reasons or factors that make a woman not actualize or totally abandon her dreams. It was a very insightful conversation. If you're yet to listen to that episode, please head over to our YouTube or podcast channel and get acquainted with it. Today, our guest and I are here to encourage you, dear woman, to show up best foot forward for your dreams. All things are ready if your mind be so. This was said by William Shakespeare. We often miss out on all the best parts of achieving our dreams simply because we do not show up. You may be the best singer out there, but if nobody has heard you sing, or if you only sing in the shower every morning, then your dream of being a recording artist may just never be realized. I tell the story in my book, Up You, to portray the power of showing up. A pastor was randomly passing the microphone to people in the congregation during a church service. He wanted them to join in and sing a popular Christian song, Oh Happy Day. A particular lad, upon getting the microphone, sang his heart out and was instantly rewarded with an invitation to run up the altar and join the choir. What if he wasn't there that day? What if he didn't show up? You see, he would have missed that opportunity. Meanwhile, all along, God had penciled him down to be blessed. Showing up is not an option or a maybe, maybe not kind of decision. Your life doesn't have to be a series of missed opportunities. How many times have you looked back at events and regretted that you were not present to seize the moment? May I remind you, dear listener, that all episodes of Up You With Edine are now uploaded on our YouTube channel. Please go catch up. Take the nuggets you need to run for your lives and your dreams. Also, our podcast channel. Subscribe and leave us comment. It will help us to serve you better. Remember, it's all about you. Today, as usual, we're streaming on Instagram Live, Up You With Azine, on Facebook, WFM917, and uh, GardenRadio.com. Woman, show up for your dreams. <laughs> For today is Mrs. Yvonne Ebi, a social intelligence expert. Yvonne Ebi is an Oxford University alumna, a TED speaker, an author, an image consultant, and a social intelligence expert with specialty in personal branding, executive presence, and business etiquette. She is the lead consultant of the Etiquette Place, a corporate finishing school changing the narrative in matters of executive intelligence, best practice, and proper public conduct. Yvonne's Best Food program has transformed many executives and corporate organizations. She enables the personal brands within the organization align with the corporate brand so as to lead with confidence, civility, and candor. Yvonne's She Sparks initiative is raising a community of professional women who are becoming global brands and influencers. And her book, Finding Your She Spark, is fast becoming a personal brand favorite. 
If you want corporate clients span across the financial sector, oil and gas sector, hospitality industry, public service, educational sector, and several others. Ah, my dear listeners, the OPU community, please join me in welcoming our guest today, Mrs. Yvonne Ebi. Good evening, Yvonne. How are you? Good evening, up you. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you for having me here. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. It's such a pleasure to have you on the show. Really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're very welcome. You know, I've always admired you. Let me now say it for the whole world to hear. <laughs> I've always admired you. You're always talking etiquette, etiquette. You're always showing up. And then when you show up, you your presence is always felt. No matter how large the room is, once one AB enters, you just know she's come. You know? So when when I just thought of, okay, so who is going to talk about showing up for me? Right. You know? Right. I just said, no, you don't have to look, don't have to look too far, you know? So it's really a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Appreciate this. So good to be here with you. And well done for what you do with women. women. Well done, well done, well done. Thank you. So let's start by you telling us your perspective and understanding of the topic, woman show up for your dreams. You know, absolutely. And and there's a call for that right now. Women, you just you just have to show up. Why do you show up? Because you are worth it. Because you are worth it. Now we, we struggle with self-limiting beliefs. We struggle with, you know, from the programming and orientation from the past people have labeled you, you know, refuse to be labeled. Refuse to be put in a box. Unleash because you have what it takes. You have to believe in yourself. You, nobody else will do it for you. Nobody will give that to you. You have to take it and say, listen, I know I have gone through stuff. I know I have fallen here and every mortal is flawed. Stop limiting yourself by your flaws. Everybody you know, the ones you admire, especially, we are all flawed. So rise up from that thought process and tell yourself, listen, I, let, let your past be your story. And your story is unique. And your story is valid. It's yours. It's authentic. It belongs to you. Nobody else can show it as powerful and as good as you can. It is your story. Create whatever it is you've been to. It's a story. Tell it. We all do. Instead of, instead of trying to be perfect, perfect, why don't you strive for excellence? Your dream is your purpose. That's what it is. And you can start from where you are. Stop thinking you don't have enough. No, listen, as you are, with all your brokenness and fragmentation, you are enough. You're somebody else's lifeline. You're somebody else's hope. You, you, you may not, you may, you may not have a full story. People look at you and think, wow, if she can, then I can. How do I know? The year I wrote my book, women just got up different countries. I wrote their book. Why? Because I was in their clique. I was about that if, if Yvonne can do it, then it's near home. I can. So when you're showing up, you have no idea who, who, is, who is gleaning from you, who is learning from you. So I always say to women, listen, start from where you are. Stop despising your youth. Stop despising what you have and you think what you don't have is more. No, no, no. What you have is enough. Start afraid. Start incomplete. Start where you are, but you've got to show up. You have to show up. Why? Your dreams are valid. So in my book, I was, I, I was as the last one, I said, you know, rise up from the ashes of pain. Arise from the debris of shame. Stumble out of the rubble. So much if you failed. To err is human. To forgive is divine. I said, enough of the pity party and the tears of hopelessness. A living dog is better than a dead lion. You are alive. Celebrate it. Only the living can emerge. You are empowered. You are emboldened. You are equipped. You have everything it takes to break forth. So I'm telling people, I mean, my, my daily invitations, you're important. Come out, come. You can become. It's okay to cry. You know, we've been hearing over the years, you know, then don't cry. Listen, God gave you tears for a reason. It's a language. Allow yourself to express yourself. If you cry, cry, cry. You know, there's no weakness, no strength. And then after crying, you still keep striving. You, once you refuse to quit, you will emerge. That's the truth. There's a desire to think, you know what? I'm too 
this, I'm um, too that, I'm not enough, let me quit. Once you refuse that urge to quit, you will emerge eventually. So like, isn't it, isn't it saying, you know, show up because your dreams are valid. Because a whole world, a whole generation is depending on you showing up. You're empowering them by just existing. You're, you're, you're telling them, you're cheering them up by just showing up. You're saying, listen, you can't. It's called representation. So you, a whole world of women, a whole world of other people are thinking, oh, well, it's possible. So someone, someone's parents are, for example, doctors, and the child, without much push, becomes a doctor. Why? She's watching the parents. So our example is more potent than precepts. Women show up because you're more. Hmm. I think we should just close the show. <laughs> I mean, guys, guys, what else is there to say? And, you know, you know, Yvonne, thank you. Um, I, I started this show because I wanted to teach, right? Right, right. But every day I come on here, I get the sense of feeling that this is evolving to become a ministry. Absolutely. Because I don't, I didn't sit down with you. I just, mm. I gave you a phone call. I mean, no, I sent you WhatsApp messages. Then I never right, called you. Right, and this is what I wanted right. to talk about. So we never sat down to talk. No, we didn't. And here no, you didn't. are. And you didn't even hear the first part of my intro. And here you are saying exactly the same things I wrote for myself wow. all this morning. Wow. And it happens all the time with every guest. So mm. I'm beginning to feel that there is something larger that is happening Abs here. Abs there's more to it. There's more to it. Beyond um, up here with Aizin, they wanting to teach from her experiences. Right. Right. So, honestly, right. I will say again and again, thank you. I hope women yeah. are listening. This conversation Absolutely. has taken off and it's taking a life of its own. Yvonne is right mm. ahead of me. So I'm going to open the phone lines. Please listen up and then also call in and ask her questions listen okay. this woman is a tedx speaker she's a sought after coach and all of that it doesn't come easy to engage her we've got her for one hour so please ask your questions now mm. you never can tell your <laughs> she's pack might just start right now and you begin that's to show up it. so the that's numbers it. to call is 07 917 917 and the number to text is 070 Three one seven five six five three seven. Thank you, Yvonne. Yes, ma'am. I could feel your passion, and I could I could right. feel that you are really, 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 you know, into what you were saying. Absolutely. But despite that, I'm still going to say to you that talk is cheap. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a dream. Everybody screams. Mm. Yet we don't see those dreams come to. Right. You know, so most yeah. people can attest to having a dream. Most people can yeah. say they have a dream. They can talk about it all the time and all of that. But these dreams, mm. they don't become reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do you think this is so? Why uh, do we well, all talk? Well, uh, we, we don't talk because we, we, we don't mean it to. We mean what we say, but you know, the discipline to follow through. Mm. So sentiments, you know, we, particularly women, we're very sentimental. We have things we want to do. When we see an obstacle, we just, we just, we just back out naturally. We just back out. We have intensity. You see, when we're, when we're, I have a new, a, we're launching a new program. You know, there's you know fun and fun, fun fair and everything is the pageant. Everything is going on so smoothly. We have intensity. What we need to add is consistency. Mm. Now the, the mm. thing is that inconsistency is boring. That's it. There's something called the boredom of consistency. Yeah. Because there's no firework. <laughs> yeah. No firework. There's no spark. You know, it's just the ordinariness of your business. That's where we fall. Because you, can you keep showing up when nothing spectacular has happened? We like for the crimes. We like, you know, see what happened here. You know, this one, nothing happened. Can you continually show up? The Chinese man says, not be to open shop. Now to keep the shop open. That's where we have a problem. That discipline, you feel like it because we are feeling based people, particularly women. We we responsive. Okay, so I, I woke up this morning on the wrong side, so I'm not going. You can't you can't do business that way. That your dream can you can't sustain a dream with that. You feel like it. You don't feel like it. You wake up in the morning. You grab your stuff. You you hit the road. 
You get up in the morning, you grab your stuff, you hit your screen. You, you, if you wait for feeling, you will not do stuff. So the reason why it's plenty of talk and little action is because of sentiment. It takes you faith. Bible says, without, without faith, without works is dead. Mm. Everybody claims to have faith. I can only prove you have faith when I see you taking action. And sometimes taking action without any evidence, no guarantees, no certainty. Is that, that's where the that's where push that's where you can you know it push comes to shove. You know that listen, in spite of it, despite the obstacles and the inconvenience, I'm going to go out there. It's sunny, it's rainy, it's snow. You understand that there are seasons of life. That's why we have a talent. We look at social media, everyone seems to have made it except you. <laughs> Everybody else. I know, so you right? Think, you know, I'm not doing that anymore. How come? That's not the full story. That's not the full story. There's much more. There's stuff happening behind the scenes, in the back office, in the back room. Everybody has it. So admire people, but go back to your grind. And stop being upset about where you are. Stop thinking, you know, mine is too hard. It's not too hard. You don't have, you know, the rest of the story. You have no idea what the full story is. You only know a part of it. You only know a part of it. You see green grass. It's artificial grass. So what we'll pay the price for that? So I'm saying, put aside, you have to understand how life works. There are seasons. There are phases. Admire people. Celebrate them. But remember your grind. Every day, add to it. Every single day, add something to it. And you can't be busy all, all the time, busy your head. No, create time to have your own space. Whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, find a time to have your space. In that space, think. Listen, the ideas that come, it may not be a large idea, but a small change can make a big difference. We too often despise our, our, our beginning. Too often, and Paul said, don't despise your youth. Too often we think, you know, we see how everyone looks at, oh, nobody, even the ones you admire, don't admire themselves. That's the truth. They admire other people. They're still going forward. They're, and then they're not pretending. So don't let people's success in quotes frustrate you or make you feel like, you know, am I always not, it's not making, no. you are making progress. Notice the progress. Celebrate your, your milestones. Celebrate every day you come, you come back home. You're sane, you're sound, you're alive. Hello, there's hope. Bible says there's hope for a tree to be cut down by a scent of water. It will sprout again. You have to have hope must be kept alive. I know people who are wealthy who stop coming suicide because at that point they lost hope. You have to celebrate that you can keep hope alive. That's powerful. So beyond intensity, understand that consistency can be boring, but allow yourself to go through the process and enjoy the boredom of consistency. In that way, your talk will not be cheap. Talk as much as you want to, but don't forget to act. A little action here. Another little action tomorrow. An action. They have, they cannot only be talk. We are we, we talk a lot as women. It's a natural tendency. And we can use the professor, but we if you don't add to the talk action, you'll be in the same spot year in, year out. And you think it's somebody else doing no one is doing you. You are your biggest undoing or doing. So beyond all of that, put sentiments where they belong. You have stuff to do, note it down, write it down. Dare to believe. It will take action. It will take risk. When you fall, you come back to yourself. You, be, you are the only one for you in that sense of it. Don't, don't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't kill the, the, the place of hope. You are the place that doesn't have hope. So you have to find out what encourages you. Create a support system. People that cheer you. I, listen, they may, not be the, they may not be the richest or the most beautiful, but they always say to you, ah, Yvonne, I like, I saw what you did. Oh, Yvonne, don't forget them because that's a strong mental support system, a strong emotional support system. You need it. And encourage yourself and stay within such, such spaces and push yourself. Stop giving excuses. Stop saying that the world, the world is wicked and the world is, that's not true. There's people that are making progress in the same world. Push yourself, but celebrate yourself. Thank push you. yourself thank again you, and celebrate yourself thank you right, so much right, it's, right, oh, it's right. difficult to stop you because man you, you just get me you so it's so difficult to break in and I, I want everybody to just you know be hearing what you're saying right, i just right. recently read that um in in some part of the world i've forgotten where now um when someone wants to abuse you they don't do all the stuff we do here. God punish you and all of that. Yeah, you know, yeah. They'll say, yeah, they'll just yeah. say, 
may you remain in the same spot. May you what? May you remain in the same spot. <laughs> That's a horrible prayer. Exactly. That's all the person says to you, and then you're That's better for. Prayer. So, yes, that's me validating what you're saying, that every day you've got to show up. And Absolutely. You've got to put one leg in front of the other. Absolutely. Because the, 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 as far as I'm concerned, the thing was that dying is remaining in the same spot. That man is horrible. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Oh. That's it. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is, this is hot. I told you people. I told you people that Yvonne was <laughs> going to come and give it to us. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, Yvonne, let's go. Because yeah. um, time yeah. is not our friend. Right, right, right. Now, how you show up is important yeah. as why you show up. Do you Absolutely. Agree? Very true. Very, very true. And um, that, that how can do a lot more for you than just the why. Mm -hmm. So you're intentional about not just how you look on the outside, which is very important, but what you carry on the inside, your attitude. God bless you. You, you, can't, you, can't, you can't go past that. You can't think it doesn't matter whether you know, I have this. I don't care where you're school. I don't care. Listen, you have to understand that attitude can, can alter your attitude. It's so key. Mm. So empathy for other people. Consideration for other people. Listen to people too. You can't be the only one speaking. Sometimes just shut up and listen. To how you show up as well. You enter an environment. I, do you really love people in your heart? Do you want them? To, they, some of them are shy and introverted. Some of them have been bruised by life, by family, by programming, by society. Are you able to allow them in your, in the, in, when they're in your presence to emerge gradually? How do you show up? How do you, what is, what is your, what is your, what is your modus operandi? What exactly is your theme? When you show up, are you a dark, repelling spirit? Or are you someone that embraces life? You know, people can, people can tell, particularly young people, they can tell. They can tell whether you're reading for them and children. You can't, you can't fool them. Because when you that, show that's up, still pure you can, spirits. You, you, you can't fool them. You cannot fool them. They know whether this one, they just start crying. You don't even understand what they have. They've seen beyond what you can tell. So showing up is important, but also how. And so you have to prepare yourself for don't leave your house scattered in your head and angry about everything. Everything is a problem. That, no, you have to be intentional. Today, I'm going to be either a blessing to people or it, it creates a, a, terrible, a, a terrible experience. You have that choice. So you, you, you go out before you leave your house, you tweak yourself. You plug in and leave in a fresh person able to be a blessing. Also, I want some advice from you is just to pass in front of you. You're speeding past, you're cursing, you're... How, what would it take you to just stop a little bit? Just a bit. After work yesterday, I stopped some women at the other stage. They were not, they were not used to being, you know, being um, allowed to pass. I said, no, 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 no. And they're like, I said, no, you can pass. They were like, shocked. They were like, no, you can pass. What would it take me to do that? But in, in their minds, they're like, oh, so it's not altogether sport. Now we still have a country. People are, people, they will go with that. They will have that hope. You're, so on, in, in your daily work, you're inspiring people. It's not by giving them lots of money. That's not all. It's, somebody called me once and said to me, she said, you know, Yvonne, he, she had spoken at, we had found a song at a particular event. And after the song, I clapped, because I enjoyed the song. I clapped very well. He came to look for me afterwards, said, thank you so much for appreciating me. I didn't give the guy money. Oh, he was applaud him. We were, we were, we were making us an attractive. I would, I listened to him and I applaud. He was so happy. He was so encouraged. I didn't give him a dime, but he was happy. That's what I'm saying. Be intentional how you show up, so people can, from your just your mere presence, have hope to continue their hustle. Very important. Thank you. I just learned something now. I learned tweak yourself before you leave your home. Absolutely. So you, you say to yourself, this is who I am now. And yeah. I'm going to appear. This is what I'm going to do. That's really yeah. nice. So nothing takes you by surprise. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I have a couple of questions for you from the WhatsApp platform. But before I take that, I want to ask you something personal. Okay, then. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, when I was reading your bio, I said that you right. were a special intelligence, intelligence expert. expert yeah. Yes. <laughs> Even me that read it, I don't know what it means. <laughs> Can you please tell us what exactly okay. is a social you know, in, intelligence in, expert? In very simple words, it's the capacity to know yourself mm. and other people. Now that takes intentionality. In, in simple words, it's just tact. 
His diplomacy is tact. His common sense is street sense. So you 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 cannot you cannot just give it as you know, people say that's how I am. I'm sorry, that's not an excuse. It takes you on knowing people and being considered of other people. You have to show consideration for other people. You can't just see your mind just like that and then not care whose ox is good. That's not how life is. Mm. So you 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 don't want to offend people just by because you want to be yourself. It, it's tact. And someone said about diplomacy once, you know, it's telling someone to go to hell in a way that they look forward to the trip. You, you can say it in a way that people still understand how you say it without them bruising, you know, bruising of them and making them. You know, one word in the morning can ruin someone's day. That's the truth. So it's empathy in action. And empathy is the, is the foundation of etiquette and a source of great power. We have to come back to that place of empathy. We're losing it. When the lady in the train was, was sent a word, Dr. Chinelo, and said, I'm, I'm dying. There are people in the train. Look at the comments. And they From Nigerians. Crazy. Yeah. Look at the comments crazy. that we gave. That girl died with heartbreak. Yeah. See, she has been helping less. How young? She's young. She said, we've been attacked. And she even had the courage or the sanity to send me text. Look at the comments people said about her. Mm-hmm. She died. We just we didn't look at the comments. Why? We lack empathy here. We lack concentration for other people. We're not tactical at all. We just want to be, we, just, we say things that we'll always regret. Come on. Etiquette. It's a huge part. It's a currency. It's a valid currency. It's an asset. Use it. Someone said it opens doors that the best division cannot use. I've, I've seen it open doors for me that so that I wondered if I was deserving of those doors. But good manners will open doors that the best education cannot use it. Same thing, same different words, same thing, empathy and etiquette, same thing, tact. We have to learn to calm down and be considerate of other people. We're too aggressive, too unempathetic, too much. And we, I mean, and, and as, 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 as a people, we're not, we're not much aware. We have, we have, we have good culture. Look at, look at that. Look at how we greet. Yeah. Echo this, echo that. You know, we we naturally we're nice people. We are we are humane, you know, but we shouldn't allow what's happening around us to confuse us. Let's retain the core, the core of social intelligence. So you you, you teach your emotions, you teach your you teach yourself how to behave, public, in private, at home, with the children, you know, with, with the with the host community, with the with the with the neighbors. You come out, you don't come out attacking. I mean, you don't have all the facts. You come out with a soft landing. It's called soft skills for a reason. Soft skills, not the technical and hard skills. Soft skills. And everybody can learn. It's learnable. They are learnable skills. They will take you far places. They will. So you have to learn how to how to be tactical, how to be tactful, how to be considerate. There are 10 donuts and we're telling the room, you can't take three in the name of, oh, I'm, I was too hungry. Oh, I'm starving. No, everybody oh, else is hungry. I'm woke. Um, yeah, we have that too much. That's why we have issues. Our country, we, we, we are selfish people. The government has to understand the people are the core. We're not an item of the agenda. We are the agenda. Yeah. Look at what happened with the, with the, with the, with the, with the what do you call this thing that is shared during the, the, shared during the lockdown? What do you call those things they shared? The palliatives. The palliatives. Can yeah. you imagine that they were hoarded? People were people were calling each other, begging for food. You had food that was give, donors gave you food. Billions of naira was going to send you food. What billions? The most you could do was sharing what is in food. It was hoarded. So we have a problem with a very self-centered and lack of the self centered comes from lack of self worth. That's the truth. They have no sense of worth. If you have sense of worth, you will love your neighbor. It's very easy. So we have to come back to that place of social intelligence when we care about ourselves and care about other people and show interest for their welfare. It's possible. I'm glad I asked you this question because I've learned a lot. Um, and I'm sure my viewers have learned a lot. And this is a word I'm going to be throwing around anyhow these days, social intelligence. <laughs> uh, yeah, because... You know, I keep saying that without even being uh, aware of it fundamentally, we're all being conditioned to that point where we don't care and we don't care Mm -hmm. that we don't care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, this has lost a lot of us, uh, our dreams. Because when you say the wrong thing or you dress in the wrong manner or your your etiquette is not top-notch and you're in the public space, 
you lose a lot of things that could come to you. Absolutely. So thank you for reminding us again that it's not just qualifications alone that we need. No, it's that not. we also need the soft skills. Ah, I like the words you use, man. Soft <laughs> skills, you know, to be able to get ourselves into rooms that we want to be in. Yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. Fumi, I have a question from Fumi. Uh, right. Fumi says she's writing in from Lagos. She didn't say exactly where. So she said, um, thank you for this episode on showing right. up. Uh, however, me, I they wait for money. When I blow, you don't need to teach me about showing up. <laughs> 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 so 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 okay so for me saying that uh, all one needs to show up is to blow do you nah, think that's correct nah 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 far from it far from it <laughs> because that's the mentality that made that girl sleep with a German shepherd right she thinks that when I have money I'm gonna I'm gonna blow I'm gonna, I'm gonna show up no but she's, she's I thought she's, that girl recanted that she did not that she was only cruising did she well, really Thing is, Zine, what goes online stays online. It's oh. going to be hard to retract that. Oh. So that's what I'm saying. We have to learn to understand the place of public conduct, especially in the virtual world that we live in. Yes. So you're thinking that money is the thing that you you will be amazed that money cannot buy attitude or empathy or consideration for other people. You cannot. You have your crude, you're so crude. I have people who are rich and who are crude. Don't you know them? You know them. Yes, a few of them. We they got them. money, but they're crude. They got money, but they have the wrong attitude. So beyond having that, they have that from where she is and show empathy to people. That's what will bring the money. That's what will bring the connection, the relationships, the, the contacts she's looking for that will bring her natural, you know, and organic resources, organic um, and wealth. She will, it, it, it can be a lifestyle. I've seen open doors for me. I've seen it. It's, it's so true. So she, she shouldn't think about money in that way. But she, 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 she will use intensity and get money maybe the wrong way. She can start from where she is and start showing politeness and courtesy and civility. We're going back to the schools to say, hey, public schools, you have to teach these people how to be well behaved, well mannered. Because well mannered children do not bully. Mm-hmm. It's from there we mm-hmm. start. Mm-hmm. So please tell her that no, beyond money, she can start by giving her, her neighbor. She can she can be kind to her neighbor. She can be polite to her neighbor. She can be polite to her to road users when she drives. There's no competition. Someone asks you for a space, please let them enter. What is the need? It's the same thing. Uh, it's, it's, in this Lagos, up. where we all drive, like when we pass, roll up the road and carry it back to our house. <laughs> My dear Yvonne, oh, thank you very much. Oh, you know, um, you. when you were speaking, I heard you say there are several currencies. Actually, wow. for me, only things of money as the currency that as you can currency. trade with. No, so good money alone is not the currency you need <laughs> no, to show up. You need not. a social network. Absolutely. You need soft skills. Absolutely. You need goodwill. You need good You know, you need ideas and then you, you need, need confidence. All these are, are currencies that you can employ and it will help you in showing you for your you dream. Uh, and that will bring me to my last questions to you. Right. Um, Yvonne. Right. What drives you? Why do you keep showing up? See, <laughs> only you. You're a wife. You're right. a mother. You're yeah. an entrepreneur. You're an right. author. You are right. a poet. I know that you're a good friend. We have common friends. I'm you know, right, uh, right, okay. Right. Somebody is saying to me now that I should stop asking you this question and ask her own. Her name is Rhoda, and she sent in this call from <laughs> message from okay. Ogun State, and she says, okay. "Oh, okay. Oh, oh." like they say. So Rhoda <laughs> says, good evening, ma. My name is Rhoda from Ogun State. This is my right. first time listening to your program, and I'm touched. Okay. I'm trying to know what my dreams are and my purpose yeah. as a woman. Yeah. Okay, Rhoda, I'm going to talk to you when I get off this radio, okay? Yeah. Thank you for writing us, Rhoda. God bless you. <laughs> okay, so yeah. um, back to you. If right. also, what drives you? Why, 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 why do you keep showing up? I, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. In, in summary, it's, it's legacy. Legacy. I'll tell you that you know I I see I am doing this for the continent of Africa for the nation of Nigeria mm. for too long we've been called names dark continent people that have been sent and people who are depraved and so I I know that if I keep showing up if I keep showing I will inspire a critical mass of people who believe in themselves and believe in the concept of Nigeria mm. and believe in Africa so wherever we stand in the world we can stand with our head up that's my dream 
is about legacy. Not now, not just tomorrow. 10 years, 100 years from now, when they call Nigeria, what will people think about? I want to change the perception index of people. How they perceive us. Do you know why? Because if that's what's driving everyone, that's why they have the brain drain, it's perception. People are every day to you can pass why are they going down in the Sahara, dying in the desert? Why? Because of perception. So if we can change the narrative and change the perception index of Nigeria, of Nigerians, of Africa, we will we will treat a lot of stuff. We will we will encourage leadership, we will encourage good governance, we will have great schools. We have, we, have, we have culture, we have heritage. We are rich, we are endowed, we are empowered. But we can believe in ourselves. So my job is, when I remember that, if I do what I do and do it consistently, I will empower people. They will be confident. They can stand it's, it's, it's up. Almost, they can challenge the status quo. To stop you, they can do that. And we can, have, we can leave a legacy to our great-grandchildren of a people of power, a people of honor, a people of pride. That's what drives me. Wow. When you were talking, I was holding my stomach because, man, I felt you were buffing something. I was just holding right. my stomach in. Yvonne, thank you. Thank you. You have me. been so amazing. And uh, my producer says she's had goosebumps all over her body from the moment she started <laughs> speaking. I wonder what is happening to every other person out there. Thank you. Thank you, you so can much. be sure that I'm going to call on you again. You know, because you, you've got something to say, and the mm. young ones need to say it. Mm. We need to give examples. The Bible says the True. older women should teach the younger ones. Absolutely. And so yes. this is what we just have to continue to do mm. and keep putting our best foot forward and keep letting Absolutely. the she spark. You know, yes. we can continue to call them up you, up you, up you. Up you, up you. Thank you so very much for coming on the show. Honestly, I enjoyed hosting you. Thank you so much. God bless Thank you. you for what you do. Yeah. God bless you. Wow, amazing. Amazing. It's been such an amazing discussion. Honestly, I I am blown away. I I <laughs> I've known Yvonne, but I didn't know this depth. This is awesome. Very awesome. Woman, you've got to keep showing up. There's a lot to your showing up. My take out today is that. You know, we know how to turn up. The woman knows how to turn up. But we need to learn how to show up. And when you're showing up, you must bring something along. You just can't dress up and show up without bringing something to the bargaining table of life. Content, ideas, equity, talent, value, something. Indeed, anything that can secure you a seat at life's bargaining table. When you make a demand of life, you give it some form of raw materials to use. You don't just say, I want, and then you don't give anything. And I call what you give raw material because you still have to work on it to perfect it. Don't be worried or be afraid that what you have is too little. Just show up anyway. You know, because at some point, it boils down to what? Boredom. Who is ready and who can handle the boredom of training every day? of showing up every day, doing the same lifts over and over again. If you have that consistency, if you have that drive, if you have that tenacity to show up every day and do the same thing, trust me, your dreams will come to life. Woman, do not let anything stop you from showing up for the life that you want. All you have ever wanted, everything you dreamt of, all that you carry on the inside of you that is seeking expression is within your grasp. Remember, if you can think it, you can achieve it. If you couldn't do it, trust me, the dreams cannot even be in your heart. God will not let them manifest in your heart. If you can think it, you can become it. So, woman, show up for your dreams. This is where we wrap up today's edition of Up You With AZ Name. <laughs> I beat my producer to that. She was beginning to wind her hand for me. It's been another amazing one. Please follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Up You With AZ Name. Get copies of our book, Up You, and When Adversity Strikes, Fight. Thank you. Big up to everyone that is involved in creating this magic every week. Starting with you, our dear listeners, our guests, our advertisers, callers, the engineers on duty, our producers, the amazing Up You team, and the best radio station, WFM 91.7. You all stay strong, 
Stay blessed, be lifted. My name is Ezine Kufre Kanema. Until next week, up you, up you, up you. Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that.